Hello and welcome to the devotion for Wednesday, July the 18th, entitled The Short List. Now, as we begin to talk about celebrating victories, to celebrate a victory, you have to have a victory. You have to have something to celebrate. And we talked about in this 100% for 100 days, we wanted to be able to celebrate some victories. But one of the things that I've learned uh, dealing with people, uh, walking with people and doing life with people, is how many people get overwhelmed trying to fix too much or too many things at one time and end up not fixing anything. I know every once in a while you'll see a couple and, and they'll be, you know, just, you know, and this is wrong and this is wrong and this is wrong and I don't know that there's any hope for us and I don't know where to go. And, and you talk to them long enough, you realize, I don't know if they've ever fixed anything, you know, and, and they're overwhelmed by how many things are out of control. And one of the things that I've learned is if you can pare down that list, go, there, there are so many things that you're dealing with right now that if you try to focus on all of them at once, all you're going to be is overwhelmed and give up. It just isn't going to work. Let's work on just one thing, just one thing, and focus on that one thing. Because what I have learned is if we can fix one thing, just just one, all of a sudden, for the first time, they go, we actually address something, we focused on it, it's better, it's healthy, and it is amazing how they began to gain hope that other things can be fixed also. It is a, a, an incredible uh, paralyzing force to see all of this chaos and not know what to attack or when to attack or what to do or how do I go in here? It's just, it's impossible, right? You know, I mean, that's the way it happens. Now, in one of the passages that we read Sunday morning, in Philippians 3.12, Paul said, not that I have already obtained all of this or have already been made perfect, but I press hold to take care of, to take hold of which Christ Jesus took hold of. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. So he goes, I don't have everything under control. There's a lot of things still out of control. And then he says these words, but this one thing I do, not these 50 things I do, not 25 things that I have on my agenda, but this one thing, I've got to put the past in the past and I've got to start moving forward. And there are times that we will have so many things out of control. We've got to focus it down. We've got to get a short list. We've got to fix something. And whether it's sometimes it may be we need to look at the most important thing, but not always. Sometimes the most important thing is the most overwhelming thing. Sometimes we may need to win a couple of little battles, fix a couple of small things to learn the discipline of staying to it, working through, getting those things under control, and then moving forward. So it's not always the biggest or the most important or the most pressing or the most urgent. It may be a few small things that I go, I can gain this. Uh, in particular, uh, when people are struggle with debt, one of the things that you look at, you go, well, we owe these people all this, and you, know, and you go, no, don't attack that one first. Go get the smallest one that you've got and get that off the books, and then take all the money that would have been, the little bit that would have been siphoning off over and over again to take care of that one, roll that and get the next largest one, and go get that, and then after you get that one paid off, take all the resource that you've been using to get that one, and then go attack the next biggest one, because the great big one may be the one that's going to be the most difficult to deal with. So sometimes we've got to get a short list. We've got to figure out what can we get momentum on? Where can we gain some ground? How can we get moving and get to a healthier place? In Matthew 6, 33 and 34, he's talking about worrying. Jesus is. And he goes, you know, there's so many things you can't control. There's so many things you can't deal with because they're overwhelming. And so in, I'm going to read them backwards. In 34, he says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. <laughs> don't, don't get so preoccupied with a thousand things you can't control in the tomorrows. Look at the things you can deal with today. Because today will have more than enough. You need a what? A short list. You need to look at the things that are right before me that I can fix now. The other things I'm going to have to leave till later. It, there, it is amazing when we start gaining ground and winning the little battles, how we begin to start having the strength 
and the energy and the optimism and the faith to deal with the bigger ones. In the same way, he said, seek first the kingdom and God's righteousness, and then all the other stuff will fall into place. That was in verse 33. In Matthew 25, 23, Jesus said to his servant, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Where did he start? Little things, short list, got the things small that I can manage right now and get under control to learn the discipline of staying focused, to learn the discipline of walking through this, of pushing until that answer comes. Sometimes we need a short list with the small things to gain the ground and the victory, to be able to get to the big things and the long list. Consider it. Ask God about it. Look at what's right before you today and go, am I being faithful with that? Am I gaining ground right here? Because if I can learn those disciplines many times, I get the big ones as well. Let's pray. Father, you said that if we would be faithful in the small things, that you could make us master over the big ones. You said we can't worry about tomorrow or next week or next month or all the huge things that we can't control. But you said today has enough of its own. Be faithful today. And Lord, we ask that you would give us the focus and the direction and the courage to get back in the game where we've been overwhelmed, where we quit, where we gave up. Lord, that you would put us back to win a few small victories, to get a short list and let you begin to give us the ability to learn those disciplines, to move forward, to attack a few little things and get some small uh, 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 momentum under our belt. Lord, give us what our short list is and help us to learn to be faithful. Teach us faithfulness so that we can also be master over the big ones. Do that work in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, get you a short list. I'll see you tomorrow.